one thing that I've never understood being an Arab myself is when I see other fellow Arabs being racist or acting racist at least to our South Asian brothers and sisters. I think sometimes we look at them with this sense of superiority or entitlement and I think it's just totally wrong because at least in my opinion there is one thing that even nowadays Indian, Pakistani, etc. youth actually are better at and than us which is in preserving the languages and their cultures and their heritage I actually respect how a lot of uh, a lot of youth from these cultures still speak Hindi and Urdu very well and other languages Punjabi perhaps while still being fluent in English or at least proficient in it whereas with us Arabs I can't speak Arabic without having an Arabic ac uh, American accent you know, like it, it, it doesn't work. A lot of Arabs now are just garbage in, in their own language. But when it comes to uh, South Asians, they're actually better at retaining the accent, retaining the dialect, the grammar, etc. I think another thing is that they're generally less negatively affected by the stupid facets of uh, modern day American and European culture. I had a very good relationship, I think I'd say, with other than my friends, of course, the Indians and Pakistanis from my school, during school. I remember, like, I think it was them, possibly, I'd say, that partied the least, drank the least alcohol, etc. I think that actually goes to show, like, you know, their maturity and their respect for family and respect for tradition. It's like as if they, they actually take in more to account what their religion, you know, be it Islam or Hinduism or Christianity, takes into account or believes more than us sometimes, us Arabs, you know. And I remember like the Indians and Pakistanis from my school, I used to joke with them, you know, they always treated me nicely. They used to always, you know, play around with me. Sometimes, you know, they bullied me, but it was like mainly jokes. And I remember they were the least negatively affected, like I said, by, you know, the alcohol and the Instagram and etc. you know? So, it kind of goes to show. Like, I think other than my friends, like, I probably go along with these people the most. And even, like, sometimes in university or maybe other places, you still kind of get the same vibe in a way, you know? It's as if, like, we still don't see eye to eye in, in many things. Like, a lot of... Especially if you know your stuff. A lot of these buildings around here in Dubai and other Middle Eastern countries were built primarily by Indians and by migrant workers. People from Nepal and uh, Bangladesh, etc. So, you know, it's uh, something to think about too. Like how much do I really owe to these people that I actually don't even take into account, you know? A lot of, a lot of factory workers, a lot of taxi drivers, a lot of... Uh, IT are Indian. And the thing is, you also have to consider the fact that India was under a huge colonial power, the British, for many decades. They're still recovering from it to some extent. And Pakistan has only been under scrutiny by the US and bombings, etc. So things aren't too good for them now. But they already had a huge successful reign just by the spices and by their Mughal Empire, India in particular. So, they still have a very high place to aspire to again, you know. And a lot of the staff uh, and security in academic city where I'm studying is literally Indian or Pakistani from South Asia. So, I can't say, oh, what are these people and, you know, all their issues, you know. So, yeah, that's what I think. No, what's this fly? I swear, this fly is just following me everywhere.